I'm in the Namib Desert. There's nowhere like it on Earth. It's like being on the moon, in fact. The Namib Desert is the oldest desert in the world and extends 2,000 kilometers of the country from north to south and 500 kilometers inland from the coast. The Namib is a land of extremes and only well adaptive life forms can survive here. For this wildlife adventure, I'm on the search for the world's only desert chameleon and what better place than the Namib Desert to find one of the largest chameleon species in Southern Africa. The Namakwa chameleon is quite at home in this vast and unforgiving landscape, as well as several other plant and animal species highly adapted to the specific climate of the area. This is the Peringaze adder, also known as the desert sidewinder. This snake can travel up to speeds of 18 miles per hour Sidewinding is the only effective way for this snake to move around and negotiate the soft and unstable shifting dune sand. This movement ensures that only two parts of the snake are in touch with the ground simultaneously. The Peringay's adder is an ambush hunter which buries itself beneath the surface of the sand with only its eyes and the tip of its tail exposed. When prey is within striking distance, it is seized and injected with venom. Their eyes are positioned on the top of their heads, allowing them to see prey whilst buried. This particular snake has a fondness for sand lizards of the genus Maroles, as well as barking geckos. The venom of this snake is mildly cytotoxic, causing pain and some swelling, but is not considered dangerous to humans. Another unique character that inhabits these dunes is the web-footed gecko. Endemic to the Namib and the only gecko in Southern Africa to have all four feet that are webbed. It uses its webbed feet to dig a shelter during the day to protect it from the sun. The feet are covered in microscopic hooks which helps with adhesion. Now I just dug this little fella out to show you but these are nocturnal creatures with very large eyes to help them see in the dark. They have no eyelids, only a transparent membrane covering the eye which they lick clean with their tongue. These lizards only live up to about five years in the dunes due to many natural factors such as predation. And the main enemy of this gecko is the Perengue's adder. The female lays two eggs annually with no parental care and they use their translucent skin as camouflage in the sand for protection against predators. Throughout the dune landscape, there are small mounds covered in dollar bushes, one of the favorite hiding spots for the Namakwa chameleon. And it didn't take long to find one that was hunting. One of the most striking, and I mean that quite literally striking characteristics of the Namakwa chameleon is their ability to hunt with their tongue. The tongue of the chameleon is as long as the body and the tail combined, and it's stored in the throat with a spring-loaded mechanism propelled out of the mouth with a G-force of 50, which is five times faster than a fighter jet. They feed on many of the 200 species of beetles that live in the Namib, like this fog barking beetle, which is one of its favorite meals. The Namakwa chameleon is the only desert adapted chameleon in the world of more than 200 species of chameleons. One remarkable adaptation for life in the desert is that the Namakwa chameleon has what is termed hygroscopic skin, meaning that it can collect water in contact with its scales and by capillary action, transport that water towards its mouth through channels in the skin. Therefore, it can harvest the moisture in the dry desert following low nighttime temperatures and the subsequent condensation of dew. Specialized nasal glands secrete the salt from any dietary water intake in order to obtain as much pure water as possible. Chameleons are unique in their ability to have individual eye movement with 180 degrees horizontal vision and 90 degrees vertical vision. It still baffles scientists today how the chameleon can process two images at the same time. Females will lay three or four eggs in a hole, then move on to a new spot 
and lay another three or four eggs and so on until the female is finished. Don't put your eggs all in one basket as the saying goes and this is precisely what she does. And it's this behavior that helps ensure more success for the species. If a nest is discovered by predators, only three or four eggs are eaten and the rest will survive. From 10 eggs that hatch, only two will reach adult size. Chameleons have the ability to change color and the Namaqua chameleon uses this special skill for thermoregulation. In the morning when the sun is rising, they'll turn one side of the body to the sun and turn it dark or black to attract the heat to warm up. Then once the sun is up and the heat of the day begins, they will turn a lighter color to reflect the heat. The history of chameleons may be more than 60 million years old and the oldest known fossil is 29 million years old. So for someone who makes movies about dinosaurs, I have to say this is one of my favorite reptiles on the planet today.